What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new video. We're out here at the ridge. It's been a minute since we've been here. The video series ended and the only thing we had left to do was tape this place. That's what we're here to do today. Today's video is sponsored by Huberwood. Thank you guys for partnering with me on this project. So today we're going to be taping this roof, making sure that everything is waterproofed and done correctly. Cannot wait to show you guys. If you're new here, subscribe button is down below. Let's get to it. So today we're going to be using three different styles of waterproofing. We have their zip system flashing tape. This is 12 inch wide. This is for all of our valleys. Along with that, the three and three quarter, just your traditional zip system flashing tape. And then we have the zip system liquid flashing in here. This top comes off. And there's a sausage tube inside. So today we're gonna to use a combination of all three of them to get this place dried in. Let's get to it. So a lot of people in the comments were saying that the tape is a ridiculous process because it takes way too long to do. I would say it's just about equal with laying down felt. We put down the right side of the garage in about 10 minutes. Same amount of time you would have to do to roll your felt out and nail everything down. We're gonna hop to the other side right now and wrap that up, and then the garage is complete. We'll hop onto the actual house and start working our way around. So this is not a process I would recommend doing by yourself. Having somebody taping and then having somebody rolling it like Fox is doing right now speeds up production quite a bit. The reason I say doing it with more than one person is because you have to roll the tape. It literally says it on the tape, roll the tape. And the reason for that is because this is an acrylic style tape, meaning that when pressure is applied, then the adhesive kicks in, it does the whole chemical reaction and the magic happens, causing it to adhere as good as it does to this sheathing. I'm gonna show you guys a test after we're done today on a piece of zip system and I'm gonna show you just how rolling it makes it adhere that much stronger. This tape rolls out so easy. It doesn't bunch up on itself. I haven't had to cut much of it off. You stick a little bit down, press it down, push it down with your foot if you have to. That adheres it good enough. Then you can pull it out and stretch it as far as you want to. The horizontal runs go super quick. I figured with how long they are, you're gonna have to do a foot or two at a time. You could rip that thing out a good six, eight feet and just keep on trucking. So far, so good. It's going quick. So the way we're running this stuff, we're doing it all from the bottom up, meaning that we're putting the verticals going up, and then once all those are done on the first row of sheets, we're running a horizontal going all the way across. This is for peace of mind, really. They say that you don't have to do this, but in my head, I want everything to overlap. So the vertical run, I want my horizontal to go over the top of it halfway, then the next vertical run starts halfway on the horizontal. 
it's just a peace of mind knowing that it's all done the way that I think it should be done. When I first entered the construction industry, I was always told to think like water. Think like water running down this here. And if you've got your tape and your vertical goes underneath it, to me, that just leaves a little bit of room right there for it to leak. With this tape though, it's got a pretty dang strong adhesive. They say that you don't have to do that. For me, knowing that it's gonna be here, I wanna make sure that everything laps properly. That'll help me sleep at night. This takes no skill whatsoever to lay down, and that is not a stab at Huberwood or Zip System in the slightest. This just means you can have literally anybody taping your homes for you. You could have bottom dollar laborers come out here and tape this whole entire house, and there's really nothing to it. Tape your seams, vertical, horizontal, you're good to go. Overlap your good six inches if you have to run a new piece. There's not much to it, guys. But you put two people on rolling out tape and one person on the roller, and this job goes quick. 7,000 square feet, this thing's gonna be knocked out in one afternoon, and we're just cruising around. This is the first time we've ever done this stuff, and that says a lot. Once you get a dialed-in system going, I'm sure you could tape roofs like no other. You'll see some people here on YouTube, I know Matt Reisinger is all about it, going through and puttying every single hole with the liquid flashing, filling every single nail hole that's in the field. I've talked to quite a few different people and they say that that's not needed. The Zip System rep even told me himself that it's not needed at all. As long as the nails aren't penetrated more than halfway through your sheathing, which all of ours are flush, if not in just a fuzz, you're good to go. You don't have to worry about that. If the nails go through more than halfway of the sheathing, you have to go ahead and liquid flash it. All of our shiners that we will have to go through and liquid flash, make sure that the holes are sealed up nice and tight. The step that Matt Reisinger takes in the majority of his builds with going through and liquid flashing every single nail hole is above and beyond. And in this industry, if you're not above and beyond, you're below the rest of the crowd. So while I think it's an awesome method and something that we might pick up later on, once we're doing multiple houses with the zip system sheathing, for now, we're gonna leave all the nail heads the way they are. We're gonna hit any of our shiners with that liquid flashing and we're gonna call it good there. But we are going on hour number three out here with taping this place. Three guys, three hours, and the only thing we have left to do is the master bedroom and the hallway area. You guys can see that from the drone right now. So that right there is where a nail missed the rafter. Same thing right down there. Those holes will get filled with liquid flashing. We have to do the same thing all the way around the house. So now just like anything, as you work on something, you sort of get a process down and that's how you'll figure it out for next time. Like I told you, we're working our verticals up, then doing the horizontal run and then following that pattern all the way up to the top. The best way you can do this is run your horizontal and then set this one halfway on top. You wanna make sure you overlap pretty good. Stick the bottom down. Run it up and over. And then make your cut back here. If you start from the top and work your way down, you're cutting on top of this tape right here. And all you're doing is opening up an opportunity to run a razor knife right through the horizontal tape that you've got down. Run a cut right there, you're good to go. Get it rolled, run your ridge piece all the way through, and you're dialed in. Thank you. 
We just hit hour number four. Started at 12, we're thinking we're gonna be done right around 4.30. Like I said though, I'm still gonna have my big valleys to do with the 12 inch. I'm still gonna have a couple little spots to fill in with my liquid flashing as well. So there will be a part two to this video. Final drone shots, everything else, it's gonna be pretty rad. The only way you can fail is if you fail to use the roller. Fox, can I get that roller from you for a second? I wanna show him the Z's. Fox has been in charge of the Z's for today. <laughs> Been doing a good job. Right. So you can see on the roller here that there's little tiny Z's. This is how they check for your warranty and make sure that you actually applied the stuff the way you're supposed to. Since this is an acrylic tape, the way it adheres is by pressure. So once you apply that pressure, it allows it to adhere to the material. And that's what creates such a strong bond. In a minute, I'm going to show you guys a really good example of two pieces of tape on a piece of zip system sheathing. One we're going to roll and one we're just going to stick down by hand. You'll notice that the one that we roll takes a lot more strength and effort to pull off because that actually adhered by putting the pressure on with the roller. Four and a half hours, three of us. I shot a lot of videos, so I wasn't exactly working the whole four and a half hours, but this thing's taped. We're good to go. I have a couple spots that we missed or didn't get to finish up. I'm going to finish those up in part two of this video. I have to do my big valley pieces. I have liquid flashing to do over all the shiners that we had. I shouldn't say all the shiners that we had, like there's a grip of them. There was a few though. Happens on every project. For those two never working with this product before, never having laid down this zip system tape, they did awesome. One sec, the drone's dying. They did killer though. It was a short couple hours and we made good clean work of it. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, subscribe button's down below. I'd appreciate it if you hit that. Turn on the little bell icon next to it to get notified when these videos go up. We're in a transition stage. We are going back from build series back to some awesome tutorials and how-tos, um, getting involved with the youth. I started a nonprofit organization. You guys will see more on that later on. We're gonna hammer down and teach these kids how to build and make sure they've got solid guidance to a successful career in the trades. But that's it, guys. I'll see you next time. My name is Matt Bangswood with Matt. That, I butchered that. But that's it guys, we're gonna head on out. My name is Matt Pell.